Hey guys, what's up? Ben here from blogwithben.com. And in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Google Search Console account. Specifically, I'm gonna show you how to add your web property to Google Search Console and also verify your domain so that Google knows you're the owner. Now this is important for a couple reasons because once you're verified, you'll have access to Google search data, you can submit your sitemap to Google, and you'll have a positive impact on your blog's presence within Google search results. And Google is by far the biggest and most used search engine in the world, so by having a Search Console account and verifying your domain, it will help you monitor your blog's traffic, optimize your ranking, and make informed decisions about the appearance of your site's search results. So that being said, let's get started. All right, the first step in this process is to sign up for a Google account. And if you don't have an account with Google, I've included a link in the show notes where you can easily sign up in a few minutes. It's free and fairly straightforward, and I'm not gonna walk you through that sign up process in this video, but once you have your Google account set up, it's time to set up your Search Console account. Now I've included a link to Search Console in the show notes below as well. And after you've set up your Google account, clicking on that link will take you to the Search Console homepage, which is what you're looking at right now. All right, so to get started with Search Console, click the Start Now button. And you may get a different pop-up message than me if you're just starting from scratch, but no worries. The only thing we're worried about is adding a web property to this Search Console account. So in the upper left-hand side of the screen, click where it says Add Property. Then from the drop-down, click Add Property again. and then you'll be asked to select your property type. And without getting into the technical weeds, I recommend selecting the domain option. This option aggregates all protocols, subdomains, and paths of your domain. So in the field provided, just add your domain. And be sure just to add the domain itself. Don't add HTTP, HTTPS, or www. Just add the domain. And so for this example, I'm verifying binsnewbloggingvideo.com. There we go, and once you've entered your domain, click the Continue button, and you'll see a pop-up with some steps outlining what you need to do next. Now, if you're brand new to this, it may seem like a lot, but no worries. I'm gonna walk you through the entire process step-by-step. Step. So the first thing we're gonna do is copy the text record generated by Google, and you can see it there in step number two. And if we click the Copy button, you should get a notification letting you know that it's been copied. There we go. Next, you'll want to sign into your domain name provider. And for this tutorial, I'm using Bluehost because I purchased my domain from Bluehost. But if your domain provider is something other than Bluehost, your steps will be a little different than what is outlined in this tutorial. Additionally, if your domain provider isn't Bluehost, I've included an other link in the show notes below that lists the host-specific verification process. So like I said, if your domain provider isn't Bluehost, simply select your provider from this list and follow those steps. I will say that the only steps that are different in this process are how to access the DNS zone editor. So once you learn how to access the DNS zone editor for your domain, these steps outlined in the video are basically the same to verify your site's ownership. Okay, so for this example, I purchased my domain from Bluehost. So I'm going to log into my Bluehost dashboard, and from there you'll need to access the DNS Zone Editor. And without getting into the weeds again, DNS stands for Domain Name System, and it's used to point the domain to the IP address of the server. It's basically how the internet is able to display your site whenever someone types in your domain. Alright, enough with the jargon. So first we need to access the domain. So on the left hand side of the screen, click on Domains and this will bring you to your domain management menu. And I only have one domain in this account, but if you have multiple domains, you'll wanna click on the three dots next to the domain that you're wanting Google to verify. Then from the drop-down menu, select DNS Zone Editor. There we go. Then the first thing you'll want to do is make sure you have the correct domain selected. And we do. Then move down to the Add DNS Record section. 
and for the host record, type in the at symbol. This is used to indicate the root domain itself. Then leave the TTL value, which stands for time to live, at 14,400 seconds. Next, for the type, click the dropdown and select TXT, which stands for text record. And these records aren't used to direct any web traffic, but they are used to provide needed info to outside sources like Google. Okay, then in the text value field, paste the text record that we just copied from the search console a few minutes ago. Remember, it was that weird looking text that we got from Google when we added the domain to the search console. All right, and then double check and make sure everything's correct and it looks good. Then click the add record button. And after a few seconds, you'll get a notification that the record has been added. Perfect. Then if we scroll down to the zone file records and under the text records section, you'll see that we have successfully added the Google site verification text record. Okay, now it's time to verify our domain ownership. So head back to your Google search console account. Now I should mention that DNS changes may take some time to propagate. For example, we just added our text record and if we Click the Verify button. We get the dreaded red notice telling us that the ownership verification failed and that they only found the SPF record. Now don't worry, give it some time and try again. For this tutorial, I waited about 25 minutes to try again, but it may take as long as 24 hours. So just be patient and give it some time. Okay, so after a few minutes, we'll try again. So go ahead and click the Verify button. And voila, our ownership has been verified and we can now harness the power of Google Search Console. So to check it out, click the Done button. And then in the upper left hand side of the screen, click where it says Select Property. And then select your domain that you just added. And you may get a pop up from Google welcoming you. Go ahead and click the Start button, and you'll be taken to your overview dashboard. Now, I recommend clicking on the Learn More link from the Welcome pop-up and following along with Google's intro. They do a good job of showing you around the platform and helping you get familiar with it. But you're not going to see any stats or data right off the bat. However, after the Google bots crawl your site and process the data, you'll be able to access a lot of useful information from the Google Search Console. Additionally, I've put a link in the show notes below titled Getting Started with Search Console that will help you regardless of your role and expertise. So simply click that link, check out that help page, and select your role from the menu, and Google will help you to get acquainted with the platform. All right, congratulations. You've successfully verified your site's ownership with Google. You've set up your Search Console account and added your domain to the platform. Again, having a Search Console account and verifying your domain gives you access to Google search data, allows you to submit your sitemap to Google, and has a positive impact on your blog's presence within Google search results. Nice work. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, share, and subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. As always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.